This is me taking my third and final HPV jab at 27. The jab that is to prevent a virus that could lead to cervical cancer, the third most common cancer among women in Malaysia. So, at the end of last year, I've discovered that my family has a cancer history. From that day onwards, I've decided that if there's anything that I could do to lower my risk of getting cancer, I'm doing it. So over the last six months, I received all three doses of my HPV jabs. But what is HPV? Is it a sex-related issue? I'm not having sex, tak yalah worry kan! We need to get rid of the notion or the myth that HPV is a sexually transmitted disease. 80% to 90% of men and women at some point in their lives will be infected by human papillomavirus. This is Dr. Wu, an OBGYN who also leads Program ROSE, Malaysia's first self-administered HPV testing program. Cervical cancer is completely preventable and it is curable if detected early. HPVs are a group of more than 200 related viruses. It affects the surface of different body areas such as the skin, vagina, and cervix. HPV is not transmitted through bodily fluids but through skin-to-skin -skin contact. This happens most easily through sexual contact such as vaginal, anal, and oral sex. But it can also happen if HPV comes into contact with any mucous membrane such as mouths and lips. Low-risk infections usually clear up within months on their own, but in some cases may cause genital warts in both men and women, whereas high-risk strains can cause cancer formation. But taking the jab at 27 years old, I fear that it might be too late. In Western countries, preteens of ages 12 to 13 are already getting vaccinated. But the thing is, growing up, no one ever talked to me about the existence of HPV or even the vaccination that could potentially save my life. It was only in my early 20s that maybe one or two of my friends would bring it up in a conversation. There are a few options of the vaccine, with different price points and coverage. Each virus in the group is given a number, which is called a HPV type. The HPV vaccine helps to protect against at least HPV types 16 and 18, which causes 70% of cervical cancer cases. Over the years, our women's ministry has allocated a number of free vaccines for Malaysian women of certain age groups. MOH has also been providing free HPV immunization in schools to Form 1 girl students since 2010. So, this begs the question, if everyone has access to the vaccine, can cervical cancer be eliminated? While these vaccines are very effective, in fact, they are 70 to 90% effective in preventing cervical cancers, it's not 100%. The risk is small, and hence the importance of cervical screening. The main reason why cervical cancer is still prevalent is because women are simply not going for regular screening such as pap smears. The idea of it can be daunting and uncomfortable for many women. In the 90s, the rates were about 25-26%. In this decade, the uptake is only 12%. That's why Dr. Wu has introduced HPV testing by self-sampling that only needs to be done twice in their lifetime. While there are many cancers we do not know the cause of, cervical cancer is one cancer we can eliminate today. We have the tools, very effective tools, to HPV vaccination and screening. So girls, ladies, hear me out. We should never feel ashamed of our own bodies. If taking a step such as getting vaccinated or going for a health screening could save our lives, then we should work towards that. My hope that women will come forward so that they will be free from cervical cancer.